Yeah, exactly. What's up, guys? Yeah, exactly. Yo, look at what. What's up? <laughs> What's freaking up today? <laughs> it's Hunt the Barber Wins. No. <laughs> I remember sitting in the shop one week and I didn't cut anything but like two heads. I said I couldn't do it anymore. So when I realized I didn't get anybody, I got two dudes from the school behind the shop and told them I would cut their hair for free. Once I cut their hair for free, they went to school and showed everybody the haircuts. The next week, I was booming. The week after that, I was booming even better. So it's different ways you can do things to get people in your church. You can go to churches and give them a deal. You can tell the church if they advertise you in their programs that you would take $2 off a haircut. That'll bring people in. I always think promotions. Everywhere you go, you want somebody to know that you're a barber. Restaurants. For example, the waiter comes up to you, you give her a tip. She says, oh, I didn't expect a tip or anything like that. You tell her that that's how I get my money, through tips. Oh, what do you do? I'm a barber. That way, you're letting everybody know that that's something you do. Everywhere you go, you want that to be known. Even when you're in the club, you're passing out. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flyer. Even when you're in a bar or a club, when there's a lot of people around, take your posters in that club. Put those posters somewhere in that club. Somebody's going to see them. You're going to start getting phone calls. This is Hunter Barber Wednesday, and I'm checking out. Peace.